Now, before we jump into the dreams and what they may mean, let's take a look at Joseph. Joseph happens upon the cupbearer and the baker. Now remember that Joseph this time, his best friend is probably the warden, and he was in charge of the entire prison. Everything that was in there, Joseph was able to handle. So when he comes to the cupbearer and the baker, he sees that they're having a bad day. So he asks them about it, and he says, what's going on? And so the cupbearer and the baker share with them about these dreams that they have had. An interesting thing happens though. Joseph is the one who took the time to reach out to these guys, to ask them what was happening. He wanted to know what was going on. I mean, think about this. They're in prison. There's not a whole lot that can really happen, especially under Joseph's watch. So when he sees that they're having a bad day, he takes the time to reach out to them. When is the last time that we did as Joseph did? When is the last time we reached out to someone just to reach out to them, to see how their day is going, to see, hey, what's going on, and to show that we care? Jesus said to love others as he loves us. And Joseph shows us one way in which we can do that. Would you challenge yourself today, or depending on when you watch the video, tomorrow, to go and to reach someone that maybe you've never talked to before, or just someone that you know is having a bad day, and reach out to them, and be there, and be ready to listen. Because there's a lot of people out there that need to have that ear and that shoulder to cry on. Would you be that person? Would you challenge yourself to do so? And we'll pick up more tomorrow.